Okay, Drew, you're gonna be the GM of Lowe's home team. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, this is really a great campaign. I'm excited to be a part of it. Um, it. Lowe's has been doing this now for a while and really a way to give back to the community, strengthen communities, um, uh, be involved in some unique projects, whether it's renovations, uh, construction, building, or uh, even special projects like last year, they uh, distributed a million Christmas trees to families and communities um, around the country. And we had a chance to be a part of that with them in New Orleans. Really great campaign. And if people want to learn more about it, they can go to lowes.com slash NFL. Yes. So any new hobbies? And please tell us about this new e-folding surfing situation yeah. you got going on. Yeah, it's funny, you know, people ask me, you know, what, what's retirement going to bring, right? And, you know, what new hobbies or, or things am I going to take on? I'm, I'm, I feel like I'm busier now than I was when I was a player, honestly. Um, but uh, I, I, I would like to, I would like to get into woodworking. I've always, hmm. I've always liked that. You know, my wife makes fun of me, you know, whenever we go on vacation somewhere and, you know, maybe you're at one of these markets or something like that. And there's like a woodworking station or people have carved things out of wood. I'm, I'm always attracted over there just because, I admire that form of art and, and I, I, I'd love to learn that technique, you know, whether it's making wood bowls or like charcuterie boards, sushi boards, just stuff yes. like that. And some of the maybe non-traditional stuff, like you mentioned the e-foiling, I, I am not a good surfer and I know I can't fly. And yet on an e-foil, I feel like I'm doing both. You're basically, it, it, it's an electric surfboard is basically what it is. And it kind of has a mast and fins that go down to the water with a motor. And you've just got a, a hand trigger and that's your that's your gas and you're going through the water and you're up on this board and you are surfing and if you lean back and you get up out of the water you are now flying so you've probably seen all of the buzz around the upcoming netflix movie home team where kevin james will be playing sean payton what are your thoughts on all of that um yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm really interested to see it. I, I love Kevin James. I, I think he's a phenomenal actor. He's obviously uh, extremely funny, um, but I, I love, I love that match right there. Him playing Sean Payton. I think that's going to be good. I'm hoping that, you know, it's like Kevin James is just going to like mirror Sean Payton for a while. I like just walk beside him for, you know, a few months and just like try to pick up on every little thing because if he if he can pick up on a lot of those things, like we as players, I mean, listen, I've been around Sean 15 years, right? So there's plenty of times where, you know, we break out into Sean impersonations, or, you know, tell a story and kind of use, you know, use the Sean hand gestures or mannerisms, et cetera. And, and so if he can nail those things, like this will be, this will be vintage. Who would you want playing you in the movie? If yeah. Drew Brees makes a cameo. Yeah. Well, it needs to be somebody, you know, pretty athletic and kind of, you know, like, you know, kind of jacked, um, you know, kind of an action star. I'm thinking, um, you know, maybe somebody with like a little bit of male pattern balding too, you know, like that got going. <laughs> So honestly, taking into account all of those attributes, um, I'm thinking Jason Statham. Okay. Be the guy, you know? So looking back at your final game against the Buccaneers, as you left the field, you blew a kiss to your family, you waved goodbye to the stadium. In that moment, did you know it was going to be your final game? Yeah, I did. I did. Yeah, I had that feeling the whole season. Um, and, and it's not like you go into every game thinking like, oh, this could be my last. I mean, you just you just take that approach that man, I'm just going to pour everything I can into it and let the chips fall where they may. And I can look back with no regrets, knowing that I gave it everything I had. So after the game, you spent some time on the field with your kids, with Tom Brady. Did you discuss with Tom that that could be your final time out there? Not that it would be my final time, but, you know, we, we discuss our, our, our mortality. <laughs> <laughs> You know, um, I think we, we both, uh, you know, are very grateful, very appreciative uh, for the opportunity to have played this long. Um, you know, I, I don't I don't think either of us would have would have ever expected, you know, that opportunity. And, and so we're very grateful for that. Um, and, I, you know, listen, there's a friendship there, you know, and, and I'd say a bond that you uh, doesn't really exist with with most just because you don't really know what it's like to play the position and not just play the position, but the role of quarterback, the role of NFL starting quarterback, you know, comes with a lot of burden. <laughs> and um, you, uh, I think there's this, um, 
there's a bit of this brotherhood mm -hmm. and just a bit of this kinship, you know, that exists as a result of that. And so, um, I think there's, there's, there's a lot of respect and admiration, you know, there, uh, certainly that I have for him uh, and his journey. Drew, with you headed to the booth, the Saints will likely have a healthy quarterback competition between Taysom Hill and Jameis Winston. Now, focusing on Winston here from your time with him, what traits does he have that you think can make him a successful starting QB in the league? The guy loves football. He works his tail off. He's got all the tools, physical tools. Um, he can make every throw on the field. Um, you know, mentally, he's sharp. He picks things up quickly. He, he, he studies it. He works at it. Um, and he's hungry. He's hungry to be a great player. Now that you're retired, have you had a moment of reflection, just a moment to sit and take it all in and look back at your entire legacy that you've left on the Saints and the New Orleans community? Well, I'd say this. Um, yeah, a, a small reflection, but at the same time, it's like, I'm not done. You know, I'm not done with this, with the, with New Orleans. I'm not done with the community. I mean, we, there's so, still so much work to do. And in fact, I feel like I'm really just getting started in regards to a lot of that. And so that gets me really excited. I mean, I'm, we're working on a few really big projects and visions um, for New Orleans. And I'm excited to continue to pursue those things. And I can't wait to bring that to the city. Hey sports fans, if you want to see more videos like this, check out some of our other ones right here. And if you like what you see, make sure to hit the subscribe button and stay tuned for more from USA Today Sports.